Good morning. We're starting today off with this week off with some projects for my youngest two. Um, actually, I might make if I'm focused, I'm gonna knock out some dresses for all of my girls. So we're starting off with this pattern right here. Never made it before. It's very reminiscent of the dress that I made last year. I'll try to add a um, picture of it somewhere in this video. I am starting today off with McCall 7589. Um, this is the beautiful fabric that I'm going to use. Isn't it gorgeous? It is so, like, it's just the cutest little thing. I purchased it from Joann's last year. Never used it. I said I was going to make a dress for my girls and couldn't figure out what dress I was going to make. And then yesterday I went to the McCall's pattern sale. I only picked up two patterns from the pattern sale, man. I'll show you the two later. Um, and I was like, okay, this is one of the patterns that I picked up. Now, do I have this pattern in my stash? Yes, but that's a good thing because now I have two and I can um, cut one pattern for my youngest daughter and the other pattern for my second, my other daughter if that makes sense. Um, so my girls will have their own patterns um, and I won't have to trace. So this today, I am going to make this one for my youngest. Isn't this adorable? And I'm gonna use this fabric right here. It is a cotton fabric. I think this is gallery. I don't know. Usually, I think this is, um, or there's another one, Something Maker. I can't think of it, but if I do, I will include it in the description below. But this is where we're starting. View B. View B, I only need, um, so this pattern is recommended for cotton and cotton blend. And I only need one package of half single fold bias tape. Um, so the half inch, instead of, Purchasing half inch uh, single fold bias tape. I'm going to make bias tape by oh, bias tape using this fabric right here so that it matches perfectly. Um, but this, as you can see, this is a loose fit. This is a loose fit uh, sleeveless sundress. Um, perfect for. Uh, the weather down here in the south, the humidity, it won't affect them at all. This is just super cute. I love it. And this fabric is just the right fabric to just make a statement. So that's this is the fabric I'm going to use for my youngest. I haven't figured out what fabric I'm going to use to make the second. Get this started because I need to knock this stress out this week. I need to make at least two. I might make three. We'll see depending on what type of fabric I have in my stash. And I will update you guys later. All right. Done cutting. So piece one, pattern piece number two, which is the back. I've cut the drawstring, which is pattern piece number three. I don't need any other pattern pieces besides my homemade bias binding. So that is ready to go. All right, now it's time to start sewing. Focus now, come on, so 
focus. Hmm. No focusing happens in today. All right, so just made the casing. And that is step, let's see if I can get it to focus now. Uh -uh. But step three, just, just creating the casing. Here it is right now. Now we're gonna work on the back. On the fat back, I'm just gonna pin it and stitch to the dot. And then I'm gonna turn under 5 eighths of an inch of the hem on the back, open edges, and then press. What are we doing? Focus. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? I am done for the most part with McCall 7589. I made you B for my daughter. I already had her try it on without the drawstring. I just held it just to see how the length and everything looked. It's a little long, but she's growing so fast that it'll probably be uh, just right by the end of the summer. But anyways, I started at 853, cutting the pattern, right? 853, I cut the pattern. It is now 1048. I've already stitched the hem, closed the side seams, made the casings in the front and the back, sewn together the drawstring. The only thing I need to do is turn this around uh, and then close this little opening. And I'm gonna press this dress again and it's done. Like the sewing took me less time than actually cutting. And cutting took me so long because I was overthinking it, guys. So with that said, this is an amazing short project. Also, the patterns are, the pattern instructions are superb. This is beginner friendly. I definitely agree. This is a learn to sew project that I think I'm going to have my daughter make her own um, you know, continue working on the basic sewing skills with her and then, um, you know, have her try this out because this was such an easy make. Um, the, the pattern instructions, I'm definitely very impressed with the instructions. So I'm just going to press, finish the drawstring and this is done. I have knocked out the first project. Now I need to find fabric to make another one. I would love to find fabric similar to this because this, this is cute. I'm going to finish this up, get ready uh, for church. Uh, service starts at noon and then prep the fine fabric and cut it so I can work on this next one probably tomorrow. Because the rest of the day, I'm going to be with family. Um, it is also my husband's birthday, so we're going to set up a little party for him at home. But I just wanted to share this make with you because this, I, I didn't know if I was going to be able to accomplish this today. Uh, but this uh, was just such an easy make. So, yep, McCall 75. And loved it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, talk to you guys soon. All right, time to start dress number two. Using the same pattern, 7589. I am going to make view. Actually, what view am I gonna make? I really like the hem for view B, so I'll probably just make view B again. But this time I'm going to make it in the size. The width a large, but the length actually probably should make view C E. <clears throat> Um, okay, so view B, large width, but extra large, large length. All right, here we go. So, come on, focus. Focus, love. There we go. <laughs> so, I know you guys are looking and wondering, why do I have an extra pattern piece? Well, first, let me start. This is the fabric that I'm going to use for the second dress using um, McCall 7539. Isn't it pretty with the pink and the blue? And this, oh, it's just so cute. Okay, so the situation at hand. 
I started cutting the pattern without laying all the pieces down because I assumed that I had purchased the same amount as the other fabric that I used yesterday. Now, mind you, the fabric that I have used yes that I used yesterday, I still have a yard left. So I'm like, okay, I'm cutting a larger size. I have plenty of fabric left. Well, the reality is this was only um sorry, my battery died, but I'm back. Okay, so while cutting the pattern, I cut the front. Didn't have any issues. So piece number one, good to go, done. Made it to piece number two and it wasn't long enough. So I was like, shoot, did I do something wrong? No, I didn't do anything wrong. I just didn't have the same amount of fabric as I had yesterday. So I ended up taking the pattern piece and cutting the top of the back uh, at the length and line. I added Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today, I am going to review two patterns that I made for my girls. One pattern I made twice, and the other one I made one time. So the first pattern I want to show you guys is this pretty dress that I made. I started it last year, but didn't finish it until this year. But this is Simplicity 85. 64. I love this dress. Um, I wish I had um, made a few of these and I finished the armhole with pink. Um, I finished the armhole with pink bias tape um, and then it's these pretty little bows if you can see this right here going in different directions and they're black. So since the bows are black, I decided to make the tie, the drawstring tie black. So Simplicity 8564 is a pattern comes in sizes three to size eight for children. The recommended fabrics suggestion is broadcloth, chambray, cotton tights, gingham, linen types, um, and shirtings. For view now this pattern comes with a dress shirt a dress a top shorts in the bag so I made the dress view a version of this pattern and the recommended notions we have thread ribbon one package of one quarter wide single bias single fold bias tape and that's for view a B and C um, I only used about two yards a yard and a half for this dress and it was such a quick sew it's the front piece um and i think the front and the back piece are the same this pattern has 16 pattern pieces but keep in mind that it is a dress a top and this cute little bag um and a pair of shorts so it was very quick to make i cut the front and the back piece uh which was with the setter seam and the necktie is constructed with ribbon. Um, if I'm going to make this pattern again, I would definitely cut out fabric to match the, to create the drawstring, but this is so cute. Um, I want to make this again um, and uh, in a very flowy fabric so that when it catches the wind, you know, you just see fabric flowing away. <laughs> so yeah, I enjoyed making this very much. It was a very quick sew. The only thing that took me a long time was the drawstring, and I don't know why I delayed on that one. The second and third pattern I made, and I only have one of uh, the dresses with me. The other one my daughter is obsessed with, um, and so it is, she's actually wearing it right now. So that's a sign that I need to make another. The second pattern is McCall 7589. I made this pattern twice. Um, and so this is my youngest daughter's version, this fabric and the fabric that I used to make uh, my youngest daughter's. It was purchased at uh, Joann's, my local Joann's, but it's a beautiful cotton blend fabric with beautiful flowers. I purchased this fabric last summer with the plan to make 
dresses finally got to it this year um so this is the dress it has a front piece um, back piece with a center seam and then drawstrings i decided to make view b which has the curved hem i did the same thing for my other daughter's dress for my daughters i cut smaller sizes and just lengthened them because they're tall for their age so that's the only thing that i did different it was very easy to construct so, um, would i make this pattern again Definitely yes, it is very warm where we live. And so this dress is quick and easy for them. My daughters love their dresses. It's to the point that I'm actually almost tired of seeing them in them because I'm like, yo, more clothes. <laughs> why are we still looking at, why are you still wearing this like weekly? Uh, but I can't say that because I want to encourage them to, you know, create and make and wear it and have pride. And so if I'm telling them, you know, don't wear it, I'm not get, delivering the right message. So that is McCall 7589 and um, Simplicity 8564. Thank you so much for watching this review. I hope you guys are having a fantastic sewing season and bye.